Zookeepers at Singapore Zoo were excited to announce that for the first time in the zoo's 29-year history, a cheetah had successfully given birth to four adorable cubs and are sure to become star attractions at the renowned park. Cheetahs are notoriously difficult to breed in captivity, as they are more wary than other big cats of potential mates. The proud parents were among a group of cheetahs brought from South Africa for breeding last year. Cheetahs can have up to nine cubs at once, and the little ones are born with downy white fur all down their backs. In the wild, only about half of all cheetah cubs will make it to adulthood. But here, these youngsters stand a far better chance. You know, the mother is a first-time mother, and she's an excellent mother, you know, and she looks after the cubs very well. In the wild, cheetahs are having a hard time of it, and estimates put their total number at around just 12,000. The fast loss of their habitat, combined with a low survival rate amongst cubs, not to mention fierce competition among young adult males, pose further risks to the future of this beautiful hunter, which can run at speeds of up to 120 kilometers an hour. While all the attention was being lavished on the baby cheetahs, another zoo newcomer slipped quietly onto the scene in the shape of a newborn Malaysian sun bear. The smallest bear on the planet, the tropical sun bear also faces massive pressure on its native rainforest environment. Found in Southeast Asia, the sun bear, also known as the honey bear, does not hibernate, so it's able to mate all year round. Its inward turned feet make the bear pigeon toed, but it is brilliant at climbing. Its curved claws and naked soles of the feet are also good for getting up trees, where they like to lay around during the day. The arrival of the baby cheetahs and sun bear were just part of the zoo's baby boom, which also included the birth of a white rhino. It, it doesn't always occur. You know, it's something like a baby boom for the zoo. Uh, this happened, I think, uh, about five years ago, where we have so many animals giving birth. And we are so proud, no? especially this holiday season, we have so many births. Yeah. After entertaining the public on their first big outing away from mum, the cheetah cubs were taken on another adventure aboard the zoo's staff buggy. Cradled safely in the keeper's arms, they were off to rest up at the end of a long and tiring day. After their first photo call, it was back to their enclosure to meet someone who was very relieved to see them. From now on, the young cheetahs will be kept away from the public for a few months and will only be named after a special competition is held to pick appropriate ones. In the meantime, these beautiful cats will be allowed to grow up under mum's care.